Are you ready for something new? Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today, I wish I had something for you. I really do. I, I just don't. I, I know I hate to say that. Uh, well, besides that I'm going to talk about doing an open invite for a Christmas Tablescape collaboration that I'm going to be hosting. Something new for me to do. Uh, I really wanted to have something else for you. Now, it just didn't pan out for me on that. I am doing this video on Tuesday night, and uh, today I went to two Goodwills and an ARC thrift store that are near me, and I found nothing. I was hoping to have a thrift uh, haul for you, really hoping to find something that I just could really get a great deal on. Now, they did have a lot of Christmas stuff, but I'm not really looking for Christmas stuff because I have a lot of Christmas stuff as it is. I was just mainly looking for a nice piece of furniture or... I don't know. I'm, I'm always looking for some Tuscan items and roosters. Nothing, 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 nothing anywhere. I came out empty-handed because I was hoping to have a little bit of a thrift haul for you. But as you can see, there's some stuff on the table here. So I will be showing a few things. So uh, before we get started, I have something that I, I forgot to mention on my video on Monday. This is something funny that happened last week. Well, I think it was funny, kind of. <laughs> I don't think the police officer thought it was funny, but uh, I did. <laughs> so what happened was, uh, I think it was Wednesday, last Wednesday. Uh, I usually go to the grocery store a couple days a week on my lunch and bring stuff home. It's not too far from the house. So I was in there getting a few items. I was getting ready to head up to the checkout and my phone rang and it was ADT telling me that our motion detector in our garage was going off. And I'm like, oh boy. Uh, I'm thinking I'm pretty sure I shut my garage door when I left for work. Pretty sure I did. And because uh, I always watch it start to go down just to make sure that it's going down and I hit it. So i pretty sure I did. So she's like, well, do you want me to call the police? And I'm like, well, I'm getting ready to head home. I said, I guess, you know, what do you do? What do you do? So I get home. Sure enough, my garage door is open. Yeah, mine, where I pull my, my vehicle in. And guess what? There's a deer standing right there eating one of my pumpkins. Uh, yeah, a deer went in and triggered it. So uh, I waited for the police to come. And, uh, and I told him what, I said what it was, you know, and he was, he was nice. He was nice about it. And, uh, he's like, he's like, no, ma'am. He says, no, you shouldn't have gone inside. You should have waited. He said, there could have been someone in the house, you know, and I told him, I said, well, I know it was just the deer. I said, I was like five minutes away when they called. I get here. There's a deer right there. It can't be somebody in the house. But, uh, he's like, well, next time you shouldn't go in the house. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, uh, Yeah. And I could have sworn, so I, I call my husband. He's like, you didn't shut the garage door. I said, I know I did. Well, you know what? I have a dash cam on my vehicle. So I looked at it. I did shut the door. I did. It was going down. But uh, I, you've probably seen our driveway. So you back out as far as you can without hitting the landscape lights. And then you can go, you, then you go down the long driveway to get out. So I'm watching, uh, my vehicle has the backup camera. So I'm watching the camera. I just walked, it was going down. So I just start watching my camera to make sure I don't hit the landscape light at the edge of the driveway. And then I just leave. I didn't even look at it again, but it showed it going down. And it went down, I think about six inches and then just went right back up a little. It started going up and then I was already moving. So I proved it to him that I did shut it. So from now on, I am going to make sure that is all the way down before I pull out of the driveway. <laughs> but, okay, enough of that. So, uh, like I said, with this is going to be an open invite. Now, I had a, a few people want to do a collaboration with me. And I think they were talking about tablescapes. But, uh, you know, I'm just not going to have time to do a bunch of uh, individual collaborations. So I thought I would give a shot at hosting an open invite collaboration for everyone to participate that wants to. And it is just gonna be a Christmas tablescape uh, collaboration, that's it. 
I want to do it Monday on December 2nd. Now I don't have any rules. You don't even have to put plates out. A centerpiece will be fine if you don't want to put plates out. Just do a nice centerpiece on the table. So that's your two options. You can do a centerpiece only, or you could do the centerpiece with all your plate settings with it too. And there is no theme whatsoever besides Christmas, whatever you want to do. And I have a few plates here that I'm going to show you that I use. And I have a lot more plates than this downstairs, but I thought I'd bring a few cute ones up so you could see them. Now, like I said, it's going to be Monday, December 2nd. I'm going to have everything down in the description box for you to look at. I have no rules. Like I said, the only two rules that there is, is that uh, you have to have your title be, uh, it's going to be Christmas Tablescape 2019 with Jody at Southern Seasons. That is going to be your main description. And then you also want to put my channel link down below. Now I will have a playlist link too if you want to use that, either one. And uh, you should be able to upload your own videos up on the playlist and I've already got it kind of set up for that. And I will definitely, when I put my video up, my playlist will be down there. And that's where you will hit that link and you should be able to uh, upload yours. And if you can't, just let me know, give me a comment and I can add it to the playlist for you. Okay, so like I said, that's it. That's all there is to it. Really simple, you can do any kind of thing you want. I'm gonna show you a few plates here. I got a couple Santa plates that I have. Now, these two plates, I got at, let's see, I got both of these at uh, Home Goods. I think I got this one last year and I got this one a couple years ago. Now I do have four each of these and I, I, this is my favorite one with the Santa there. And another set of plates, now this is a set of four, I might have to come up here a little bit so you can see them, that I also got these at Home Goods and I thought these were so cute. You can see that one. I like that. And like I said, this was a set of four. I thought these were really, really cute. Okay. So you got the night before Christmas stuff. I thought these were really, really cute. I know I keep saying that. I gotta quit. <laughs> and then there's that one. All right, so those are some that I got at uh, Home Goods. Now, and I normally don't get a lot of stuff from Pottery Barn, but these were on sale, so I got them, and I thought they were cute because they had reindeer and moose. I just love moose. So you got four different scenes with them. I just thought these were so adorable. I don't fancy that. This one's really cute with the berries and the birds. Look at that. That's cute. This guy. I love this guy right here. Like I said, these are, I got these maybe a couple years ago in Pottery Barn. Now the rest of the plates I'm going to show you, I got at Pier 1. And hopefully you can see this, maybe put it up against me here. It's clear. These Nutcracker ones. I love these. I collect Nutcrackers. So uh, you may be seeing a few Nutcrackers coming up here soon too. I love these plates. You can put a color plate behind it and it really shows through. I love these little tiny appetizer plates with the these skates on it and the plaid, isn't that cute? These are from Pier 1. And check out these little doggy ones. I love it when they have the little doggies. We got that one. There's four different ones in this set. And look at this guy, isn't he just adorable? Look at that, he's so cute. This one's my favorite one. Well, here, we'll do this one first. We'll do my favorite one last. <laughs> that one. Mm, it's so cute. And I love this one. It's a little chihuahua. It kind of reminds me of Bailey. I mean, Bailey's a little, uh, got a little bit longer hair because he's part terrier. But isn't he just so cute? Look at that. And a little sweater. So Bailey has a little little sweater kind of like that. So for his is striped. My husband calls it his jailbird sweater. <laughs> All right. And then, check out these. Oops. I'm going to break these. And this was a set of four also. And I like to use these. I'll probably be using these since I have the black and white going on in here. And I try to kind of keep with that. And then there's this one. Goodness, <laughs> I don't want to drop these. <laughs> All 
trying my best here. I am not going to drop these. And then this is the last set I'm going to show you. Like I said, I got a tons more plates down there, but I just can't bring them all up. Now this is another set of four that I got at Pier One. And so here's giving you a few ideas here to use for your tablescape because I can use gingerbread theme. You got the nutcrackers, you got Santa, little doggies. That's cute. The reindeer, of course. Christmas trees. Because this, this one's like shaped like a Christmas tree. Let's see. And then this one is a Christmas tree. So these are the four. Got All right. And this one I want to show you. Uh, these are from uh, Home Goods many, many years ago. And I love these with the poinsettias on it. I, just, I have some uh, coffee mugs that match too. This is like one of my favorite ones to use. I just love it. So, so beautiful. All right. So that is it for the plates here. Now, you might see something sitting here. Look a little familiar. So, you've probably seen Liz's video where she showed the rooster that I made for her. And I had quite a few people want to know if I'm making any more. Well, not really. I might be doing these where I'm going to be selling them. I do have an eBay account and I also thought about getting an Etsy store maybe. I don't know. But if I do them, they'd be on a much smaller scale. But uh, not a lot of people want me to do a video on how I make them. So uh, on the weekend, I cut this guy out. So this is, this is the exact size. Uh, same size that I made for Liz. So I have a scroll saw. This is just pine wood. I drew my pattern on, cut them out, sanded them down. And he's a little dimensional because you have the wings that you attach on him. And they are out of, uh, this is a one inch wood and this is a half inch. So these will get, I uh, have to get my uh, nail gun out to do that. But I will be doing a video on this and I still gotta come up with a base. Now, the base that I made for Liz was made out of four pre-made pieces that I uh, attached together with uh, the two bottom bases were two different squares shapes that I had, and then I bought some uh, wood turnings at, the, at Lowe's. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use for the base on this. There's so many different things you could do. You could also use a, a wooden candlestick base that you could stick it on. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I will be showing this on a video and uh, hopefully try to do it step by step for you as much as I can. All right, uh, that's it. I am so sorry that I didn't get anything else. But like I said, let's try this uh, collaboration here with the Christmas tablescape. I think it's gonna be fun. I do quite a few different tablescapes myself Sometimes I do about three in the kitchen and a couple in my dining room. So we'll see what I get done this year. I'm not sure. I've still got a lot, a lot of decorating to do. I'm hoping to get a, some of it done this weekend. So, like I said, I have all the information down there and I will do another video uh, reminding everybody about it. And like I said, don't forget, on Friday at 12 Eastern Time, my video will be up and so will Liz's on our mantles. So that's it guys. I will see everybody on Friday. Bye for now.